this is gonna be a fun one. I'm excited for this video. Like we this have nature area. baths, yeah, hot yeah. springs, geothermal areas. We have waterfalls, craters, everything about Iceland you can think of is in this video besides the volcanoes. But let's get started with our road trip. If you didn't catch my statement earlier and you're catching the scenic views, we are making our way from Reykjavik to Akureyri without pit stops to drive would be about four hours and 40 minutes but it's okay because we have beautiful scenery all around us we just went through a tunnel which was about 10 to 15 minutes underwater this is the lake that we just went under actually and uh, we stopped here for a quick pit stop before we head back on the road a lot of this video by the way will be scenery so hopefully you like that and hopefully you get inspired to check out iceland I mean, I know there's water. I just hope it's not icy. So we'll see. It is. Careful, kitty. <laughs> yeah, be careful. Why aren't you wearing your sharp thingies? Did you bring them? For your shoes. This guy, he's about to fall. Oh, there they are. <laughs> and he's about to put in his sharp thingies. What are they called? Bikes. Freezing out here, you can tell by what we're wearing. Check it out. Wee! Funny. Look at him and his spiky shoes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do they feel? That's good. I feel like I'm gonna be the one that's gonna fall. I'm literally sliding my way through. Ready? Set, go! Watch, she's gonna fall. <laughs> have definitely seen many waterfalls I would say for an average person in our lives. I would say this probably has to be one of the best ones and I think it's because of the mountains and the snow and like there's ice and water like there's just a lot. <laughs> but yeah what did you think? Yeah um I would say that well we are going to the next city. Uh -huh. I, I, <laughs> I, I gotta figure out how to spell it so I can it. Yeah, and so it's about an hour. Did we stop before this? Yeah. Did we stop? Uh, we stopped at one more place. So it's about an hour and a half from the main city, from the capital city. So I don't know if you should necessarily make your way all the way out here for this, but if you're going between cities, definitely stop. Yeah. Because it's about 25% of the way to the next city. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the waterfall is pretty nice. The walk from the parking lot to the waterfall is probably like 10 minutes, if that. Yeah. So it's not too bad. It is icy, so Kat doesn't have the crap on. So she's good right now, but she has like boot sneakers. Yeah. Sneaker boots. <laughs> I do. Boot sneaks. Okay. <laughs> but I have crap on, as you can see. <laughs> and it's pretty good. So. It is. Yeah. Kitty, how would you pronounce this? <laughs> Good job. Right now, I'm heading up the stairs and climbing up this mountain to get to I think the big crater. As you can see, right now, we're walking for about six minutes. It's not too crazy, but. Thank you. 
what I'm loving about Iceland so far is that just the nature and scenery is so different from anything I've ever seen in my life. So glad we hopped on that hundred off flight. $256 round trip maybe. Shout out to Play Airlines. So we got ourselves driving completely in the snow. It is a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. But McKinney's doing a good job. So right now we are trying to find some seals. I'm not going to say trying because we already found some seals. We're on Seal Beach here. We are still two hours away from our destination. But I saw the spot and said, hey, we have to go here. Actually, we're not all the way at Seal Beach because we found the easier way rather than having to do like a 40 minute detour, 40 minute there and 40 minute probably back or 20, 30 minutes back. But we are right now next to a seal museum. And I just saw one seal already. It poked his head out. I'm looking at it like, is that a seal? I'm like, I can't tell because it looks kind of small. It looks like a rock. And then as I got closer, five seconds later, it ducked in the water. I'm like, oh, it's a seal. So I saw, we saw about four. The first three that we saw, we thought were seals. When I got up there, I realized that they're all ducks and geese. And now we are looking at these seals playing in the water. So hopefully they can come a little closer so we can get a better video. Hopefully you can see those little heads poking out, but if you can't, I know something I can see in the future and that you liking and subscribing because we would greatly appreciate it. Once you do that, let's get right back into the nature of the video. All right, I have no clue what this is. I just looked it up and it looks like a fox jaw. This looks like a tusk of some sort, but it is going to make a good souvenir. But we finally made it to Akareri after about 10, 11 hours on the road stopping and everything. But we are hungry now, so let's eat. Iceland has like a million in one of these places. It's huge. So after eating, we checked into our place with our hosts and then decided to go see the Northern Lights. This is what we thought we would see. This is what we got. So we actually went to Akureyri because it is like the Northern Lights capital of Iceland. But fortunately, we didn't get to see any lights. So we just went out the next day to continue. So we are passing this tunnel right now in Akureyri. And uh, it's a toll road. But in Blazian Travelers, budgeting fashion, we are not taking a toll road. It's Don't, expensive. Yeah, it only saves uh, 11 minutes, so we're just going up around the hill. 11 minutes, I don't know how many kilometers or miles that is, but it's like 22 bucks or something like that to save 11 minutes. Now, $2 a minute, that's a crazy price, so we're just going to go around and enjoy the scenic route. So we are making a little pit stop here on our journey to the hot springs. We were like driving and then boom, a beautiful waterfall. It is snowy out here. It's actually not as cold, Kitty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not cold. I thought it would be a lot colder. It literally looks like a winter wonderland. Check it out. This is Godafoss. Because of our time crunch, we can't go all the way to the big falls. Maybe if it was green and not snowy, it looked breathtaking in the spring. So if you wait to buy these when you get here, 8,900 kroner, which is like $70. And these are the plastic ones which fall out and harm the environment. But if you buy the metal ones like I got, 10, 14 dollars on Amazon, we're just paying $70 a nice quick 15 minute pit stop complete now we're back on the road fun fact about go to falls back there but anytime you see false in a word it's probably going to be a waterfall so it looks like there's a fire but it smells like fart a quick pit stop going to the invite invite Mavatin, I don't know how to say it. What is this called? Gufu Stoden, a Gufu Stone. And this is the geothermal area. So if you didn't know, Iceland is the land of fire and ice. As you can see, the ice is all around me, but there's a lot of volcanoes here. And because there's a lot of volcanoes and a lot of rivers and water, there's a lot of hot springs in geothermal areas. So what they're doing right now is they're actually using some of that geothermal energy and converting it and the crazy thing is when we are in Reykjavik 
our host said we stayed at a, a person at the Airbnb, and basically he said that it costs five to eight dollars per month for electricity, and they keep their lights on, they do use all the appliances, right? Heating and five to eight dollars is because it's so cheap here. It's not because they have solar. It's not because they have wind power, which I haven't seen any turbines or any um the wind things, but they have a lot of this energy producer right here. So that's the fun fact. So if you want to move to Iceland, it is cheap energy. It smells so bad when you enter those fumes. So that's the one thing about all of these hot springs. Even the water here, I was actually really surprised because the water here in the showers, because it's coming straight from the mountains and a lot of it is coming from these hot spring areas. So Mivatin Lake is nearby, but we don't have time to go. These yellow deposits is actually that smell of that sulfur coming and settling on the ground. This kind of gives me like Mars vibes, kind of reminds me of Jordan a little bit, if it wasn't for the snow, but I think the scenery is cool seeing the heat rise up and the smoke, you can actually feel the heat if you stand by and obviously smell it as well. But this scene right here is pretty cool. This looks like it belongs in a movie. So this is back towards the entrance of that geothermal area. It does say no swimming, so don't think you can swim in here. I did touch the lake and it was pretty warm, but there are spots in there that are like boiling hot. There's warning signs all over. Right now we're at pit stop number three on our second day. You know your shoes has holes in it, right? <laughs> so we finally made it, but honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't think it was gonna look like this. So, and we have to pay for parking. So hopefully the next spot down there looks way better because this is a letdown right now. So fun fact about this spot, and I guess other spots that are like it. So. I think they said that a thousand meters deep, so one kilometer deep, it gets up to 200 degrees Celsius, which is hot. And um, in the past, they used to mine, because it's hydrogen sulfide, that's where a lot of sulfur comes from. And they used to mine it here in Iceland. I'm pretty sure they probably still do. But this was mined in the past because they used it for gunpowder. So I'm guessing after the Vikings got kicked out, the people that took over, because the Vikings didn't use guns. So the next people up, use guns, I guess. It's like, it's like bubbling right there. Pretty awesome here. I've never been to probably anywhere like this. It's huge and there's so many different, what is this called again, Kenny? A cone? A cone, yeah. It's like the excess where the steam for the geothermal. It's yeah. Like it's definitely like someone made the cone. It's not like it was just built like this. Yeah. Pretty cool. You know it's cold when you gave up and you just let the tears the snot and just like just let it be. Like it's too cold to keep wiping now, honestly. Look at my kitty's um, lashes and beard. There's like ice on it. <laughs> if you had time, I could see someone spending about six hours in this area because there is a lot to do. There's some nature baths, some showers, and then there's also like this ice cave that they used in Game of Thrones. But we made it. Besides the Aurora Borealis, this is one of two reasons we came to Akureyri. We wanted to go to Mivaten because it seemed like a better choice than the Blue Lagoon. So before we get out here and enjoy these crisp waters in the middle of the cold, we're going to show you around the place. So there is a bar and restaurant. It's not a full service restaurant, so it's mainly grab and go type food but they have coffee they have this smoked icelandic salmon that has like icelandic cheese or cream cheese on it or something like that they have icelandic ice cream so many different options there's a store to buy clothes because maybe you didn't plan on it and you don't have clothes or maybe you love the swag and want to wear it but we're going to eat a sandwich now and then maybe grab coffee afterwards we'll see the upstairs will close so i'm just going to show you the baths right before you get to the lockers you'll see this little shoe rack where people put their boots and stuff, but you can just grab one of these baskets and put your shoes in so you can't walk into a locker room with shoes in it. 
boxes actually fit quite a bit of stuff. So as you can see here, I have my bag, my shoes, and my pants. I stuffed my jacket inside of my uh, bag, but if I needed to, I could just hang it up. And it fits stuff. And I think it loads of space back there. Uh, on top of my shoes, I can put more stuff if I needed to. I'm just glad this is dry, red dirt, and it's kind of clayish. It is a naturally fed source, so they don't want you contaminating it. So you have to rinse off beforehand. Highly recommend to do it afterwards as well. But our time here was so great. We believe it deserves a separate video. So we'll be making that for you. Comparing Miva and Nature Baths and then Blue Lagoon. So make sure you go click that link here and watch that video.